Hey YouTube world, Harvest this plenty. I hope all is well. Thanks for stopping by to check out the video. I really appreciate it. So listen, I want to give you guys a heads up or an alert to what these billionaires, the super wealthy, and these politicians are doing. But before we get into that, check this out. We can never predict or control what will happen in the world. But our first, most powerful instinct is always the same, to protect the ones we love. To provide a sanctuary where they can be safe and secure, out of danger and out of sight. But with all the comforts of home and surrounded by their most precious possessions. Oppidum creates underground living spaces that are highly secure and completely discreet, yet beautifully appointed and entirely bespoke. With everything you need to relax and unwind, and keep your mind and body in peak condition. We work with you wherever you are in the world to enhance and protect your residence. Whatever is happening in the world outside, you can rest easy and live fully in times of tranquility and in times of unrest. Entertain friends and enjoy private time with your family or just savor having a safe place to reflect. Your private gallery keeps your collections in perfect condition and is built to the highest security standards the hidden technology that sustains your life underground is as carefully considered, meticulously engineered, and beautifully crafted as every other aspect of your Oppidum. Your Oppidum has two independent air filtration systems. Two backup power generators provide constant, off-the-grid power in case of a blackout. All systems operate completely autonomously. Emergency batteries, which are kept fully charged at all times, are capable of powering the property independently. All Oppidum systems are carefully integrated into the overall design so that you'll never know it's there. An invisible shield that operates with the same silent dependability as the movement in a Swiss watch. Unseen and untouched, to protect the people we love and the objects we cherish is the most powerful human instinct. Your Oppidum is the only luxurious answer to this call. Designed and constructed to withstand ballistic, environmental, and civil threats. This is security without sacrifice. Comfort without compromise. Now, I must admit, that those bunkers are very nice, lavish, and swanky. They're really cool. You know, I was uh, talking to a friend of mine, and we was kicking around ideas about grid down and SHTF and all this other stuff. And I said, man, um, you, you know, he's married. He has a, his wife and kids. And I said, man, how far would you be willing to go to protect and defend your family? And, you know, he's willing to go all the way, give his life for his family. And then I said, what if you had a billion dollars? Or if you had 500 million or whatever, but you were very, very wealthy. Would you be willing to buy a bunker and move them underground until the smoke clears and things blow over? And he said, well, why not? And I think that a lot of people who were in the position that the rich and the wealthy are, they probably would do the same thing. Now, we do know that during the Great Tribulation, when God decides to pour out his wrath upon the, the entire earth, that those who are underground, that you cannot flee from God's wrath. But I think that many people who decide to flee underground in these bunkers, maybe they're fleeing because civil war may be coming. Or maybe they're fleeing because it may just be a grid down attack. Uh, coming upon America that they are aware of. And they're not fleeing from the Great Tribulation. They're fleeing from something else that's coming. 
So some things for you to kick around in your head, uh, you know, whenever you have the time to do so. But anyway, the movie, Leave the World Behind. If you remember, the brother right here, this gentleman right here, he owned the Airbnb. He was also maybe a fund manager, a uh, financial advisor, a wealth advisor or whatever for a billionaire and some other very rich people. And he said the billionaire gave him a heads up. You know, he wanted to move some money at the last minute. And he said that his training should have taught him that, it was, that this was irregular and that something was up. And uh, is that what we're seeing today? Look at this. Why are billionaires saying, selling shares of their companies? And this is dated February 27th, 2024. And these billionaires are dumping stocks like crazy. It says three of America's most prominent business leaders have been unloading shares of their respective companies over the past few months. Meta's Mark Zuckerberg sold 400 million worth of stock in the final months of 2023 while Jeff Bezos sold Amazon stock worth an estimated $8.5 billion in February alone. So just the month of February, he sold $8.5 billion worth of stock. And Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan, unloaded roughly $150 million this month as well. Investors watching might wonder, do they know something we don't? Hmm, things that make you go, hmm. Now I went to Fortune Magazine. So this is uh, Fortune uh, Magazine. It's a news article. And this is the title. It says, The Great Cash Out. Jeff Bezos, Leon Black, Jamie Dimon, and the Walton family have now sold a combined $11 billion in company stock this month, some for the first time ever. This is also dated February 27th, 2024. So this is not an old article. This is fresh, a couple days ago. It says high profile CEOs, founders and heirs are selling stock by the bucket load in the companies that made them billionaires. For nearly the entire bunch, share prices are trading near all time highs. Jeff Bezos sold Amazon shares worth $8.5 in multiple transactions this month, while Jamie Dimon, chairman and CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, sold $150 million in stock last week. His first cash out since taking the top job at the bank 18 years ago. So the chairman of J.P. Morgan Chase, Jamie Dimon, took the job 18 years ago, never sold out. Now, all of a sudden, he cashed out at $150 million. Around the same time, Leon Black, co-founder and former CEO of Apollo Global Management, shed $172.8 million in stock, also a first ever stock sale. Leon Black never sold out for the first time he did. Let me just continue real quick with something else. It says in dozens of trades since the beginning of February, Mark Zuckerberg unloaded about 1.4 million shares of Meta stock worth roughly six, 638 million, according to an analyst from Insider Stock Sales data, data firm Verity. So remember, in the previous article, Mark Zuckerberg was selling at the end of 2003. And he sold a lot, like 400 million. And now in February, he sold an additional 638 million of shares. Let me continue. The latest batch of sales came after previously calling around 588, 200,000 shares in November, 688, 400,000 shares in December, 447, 200 in January. He sold nearly 600 million worth in, th in the three months leading up to February. And his proceeds from the combined sales during the past four months have reached $1.2 billion. Wow. Similarly, the trust for the Walton family, heirs to Walmart's founder, sold $1.5 billion in Walmart stock this month. The Walton family or the family owns about 45% of Walmart shares, according to Bloomberg. And many of them were selling outside of their trading uh, plan. Uh, they have certain times that you could sell shares and they were selling outside of that regulated window. And the excuse they were given was they were doing some estate planning, you know, uh, taking advantage of the taxes and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, a lot of money movement 
ahead of what people say 2024 will be a very chaotic year. But not only are the, are the super wealthy and the super rich selling, the politicians are selling too. Check this out. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to go through this one by one. Oprah Winfrey's house in California on sale for $100 million. Shamar Moore, house for sale, $5.8 million. Jay-Z and Beyonce's home is on the market for $300 million. Uh, Mila Kunis, who are, oh, actually she's the actor, $30 million. Russell Wilson, $25 million. J, uh, J Lo, Ben Affleck, their home is on the market for $60 million. Kelly Rowland's home is on the market for $4.5 million. John Legend, his mansion is on the market for $17.5 million. Kath, Ricky and Kathy Hilton, $15 million. This goes on and on and on and on. There must be there must be a hundred of them. These are all these mansions right now from all these wealthy people that are selling their homes right now. You can check this. You can go online and check this data for yourself. Not just that, we have all of these politicians and all these wealthy people selling. So let me jump to the shared screen a moment just so I can show you this. Here we go. So let's start with I'm, I'm going to go through U.S. senators, so those of you who are in the U.S. know. So what's he doing right now? The orange is sell. He is selling, okay? So there's one. Uh, Daniel Goldman, he has been selling. Pete Ricketts, he's been selling. Zoe Lofgren has been selling. That's a massive sell, actually. Look at that. Uh, Dan Sullivan, he's selling. John Hickenlooper, he's selling. Lois Frankel. Talk about a sell. I mean, she hasn't sold so much in a decade right now. Uh, Michael Burgess, he's selling. John Curtis, he's selling. Scott uh, Franklin also has been selling. This is absolutely crazy. So I started them looking at this and saying, this is very unusual. Come on, Neil, brain work. What's the pattern here? Find the pattern. What are we, what are we seeing? And I'm going to start grasping at a lot of straws here as to what I'm seeing, because there's a lot of very unusual things. But there's a number of patterns. Number one, the billionaires are selling. They're selling their stock. The politicians are selling their stock. But of course, for every seller, there is a buyer. So then there, it sort of raises the question, well, who, who is the buyer for all of this? Let's see if we have time to go into all of that. But it's the usual suspects, some of the, the biggest corporations on the planet. But also, what are we seeing in the media? You may have noticed this uptick in now's the perfect time to get into the market. And the, the patterns I'm seeing at the moment are the exact same patterns that we saw. And again, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but I'm just saying we're seeing these same patterns as what we saw during the Great Depression. You saw the roaring 20s going towards the Great Depression. Now, I'm not saying we're going into an 80% market crash. I'm, I'm definitely not saying that. So isn't that interesting? Now, I didn't make this video to cause fear, panic, harm, or anything like that. Just uh, want to alert you guys to what's going on. As you know, God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound mind. But I think you guys should know what these people are doing. So if I find out some more information, I'll put a video up and share it with you guys. 2024 is going to be a very interesting year. Um, you know, all I can do is, you know, tell you guys to prepare. You know, seek out Jesus Christ. Spend a lot of time with your family and friends. Do not be troubled, but enjoy life. Enjoy your family. Smile, laugh, have a good time. But just be ready. Just be ready. Till next time, love you guys. Talk to you soon. God bless.